Chickasaw is here. Here's where we are. Right. Okay. There's a covered bridge right down this road. Mm -hmm. Where did you find that? I found it right back there. By the creek? Um, Wise Guys is a dad-driven and led discipleship community for, uh, for dads and their boys where we reinforce biblical values and point our kids to Christ while also seeking to encourage and equip each other as we all seek to raise up our boys to be men. Um, and so this is our fourth year have wise guys here in Vestavia, so uh, excited to say that we've got wise guys bi-monthly meetings going on right now at five schools in Vestavia. Uh, and we've got, we've got uh, high school fourth grade going at East West and Dolly Ridge, and then at Kahawaii and Liberty Park, we've got third and fourth grade. So I believe that represents somewhere around 400 boys right now in Vestavia schools that are coming to wise guys. First song we're going to sing tonight is How Great Thou Art. said, you know what, I want to do as the Bible says, to, to bring up the next generation in the fear and discipline of the, of the Lord, I want to bring up my children, who I will give an account for, who I am responsible for, in the discipline and instruction of the Lord, and so it's kind of, as, as Ben said, coming together as a support group, and, and, and just jumping in, and encouraging, just the iron sharpen iron, one, one man sharpen another, and I mm -hmm.
someone else, all right? Listen, you are only allowed to put it on their shirts. There is a huge temptation in your soul to put it on your friend's face, all right? Don't do that. for sticky notes. Good job, good job. of the gospel step by step in one amazing, powerful verse. So we're going to go. Ecclesiastes was written by the, the wealthiest and most successful man in history, Solomon. And he looked at all that he had and said, meaningless, meaningless. And so even Rocky made that down. Bless his heart. There, there wasn't just Rocky two and three and four. But, but I mean, he's still. I think he's still doing them today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so he needed more than just to go to this degree. I'll leave you this. What are you appealing to? 
You cannot love the Lord your God. That's the commandment. You must do that, and yet it's impossible. It's important, but it's impossible. But where we fell short, Jesus came, and in our place, He stood condemned because we were condemned. He took our condemnation on Himself, and then He gives us His perfect record, His perfect righteousness, His perfect life of always loving the Lord God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And when that is your validation, when He is your validation, when He is your justification, no matter how much success or how much failure you get in life, you'll never be ultimately crushed. You'll be able to delight in it all. You'll be like Job. You're not like Solomon. Solomon said meaningless. And Job said, though he slay me, yet I will praise him.